Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about a very interesting tool uh, which is the Aviva Edge Management uh, Service. Aviva Edge Management is a product uh, in the Aviva portfolio that is uh, related to Aviva Edge because it allows you to handle or manage everything uh, about the uh, Edge devices uh, remotely from uh, the Aviva, Aviva Connect Cloud portal. Uh, this means that you will be able to deploy uh, an Aviva Edge installation, an Aviva Edge project, an Aviva Edge license, and control all that, uh, everything from the Aviva Connect portal. You don't need to have physical access to the device to connect, manage, uh, or do whatever you need on the Aviva Edge project, because you can do that in the Aviva Edge management portal. So I'm here in the Aviva Connect portal right now, what I will do is I will access to the Aviva Edge Management Portal. So if I click here, it will open the Aviva Connect uh, Aviva Edge Management Portal, which is open here already, I think, but it will open the same window. Yep. So let me close this. And here I can manage my devices, my devices with Aviva Edge inside. Here we can create devices uh, running Linux or Windows. Uh, for Linux, we have the option to install and manage IoT View. And for Windows, we have the option to install and manage uh, the Aviva Edge SCADA, the full runtime version of the product. So what I will do is I will create a new device here to show you how all this works. And uh, I will call it um, my device my device and uh, in device in platform I need to select a platform it will be Windows I will use a Windows virtual machine to, to demonstrate how this works the module OS should be Windows the version uh, minimal version is 1809 so I will add this new device And in this device, I have some module, modules available to, to load into it. I will use Aviva Edge SCADA, which is basically all the installation, the runtime, everything, all the configuration for Aviva Edge SCADA. It's like a module that will be loaded into this uh, machine. So everything about uh, the product is configured here. Uh, first thing that we need to select is the version. For now, it's only compatible with 2020, uh, the first release of 2020, Surf Pack Zero and more versions of course will be available in the future um, well new service packs for 2020 and you can configure the web server port the tcp ip server ports if you are using opc ua server you can configure the port here also all that is configured automatically and you can select a project that should be loaded into aviva edge also automatically the project should be inside a zip file so in order to create this, you need to have a project. What I have here, this folder is the PC demo project that, has, that is a, a shipped by default with the Aviva Edge installation. So inside PC demo, we have the project files. What I will do is I will select all the project files and I will send these project files into a compressed file. Okay. And I will call it a my app that will be the name of my zip file. So this myapp.zip uh, will contain my project configuration files. And what I can do is select that folder from here. Here is my app.zip. And what I'm doing is I'm sending the, my project to the Aviva Edge Cloud. So the Aviva Edge Cloud can send that project to my Aviva Edge station. After having this configured, I can click on update to save my changes. And in deployment, I can deploy my solution. Uh, here, there is a very interesting concept, which is the Aviva uh, Flex Credits. This service is a subscription service. And the subscription is paid with uh, Aviva Flex Credits. Uh, the Aviva Flex Credits is like a coin that you can use in the Aviva Connect portal for all the Aviva services, Aviva cloud-based services. One of the services is Aviva Edge Management. 
So uh, for this service, you can select uh, the subscription of um, the Aviva license, in this case, the Aviva H license, by month, monthly. Uh, uh, you can select to have the Aviva Edge uh, SCADA license for one month. In that case, you will need to pay 83 credits. Uh, you can select to have it uh, 12 months, so you will need to pay this almost 1,000 credits. You can select to auto renew the, the subscription after this, this 12 months pass. The subscription will be renewed automatically. You don't, you won't have any disruption on the on the on the production because well it is configured to auto renew but in this case i will configure it for for a single month and i will disable auto renew because i'm doing a demonstration so i will consume 83 credits from my uh, to to um, 200,000 credits that i have uh, available so i will publish my aviva edge device And now uh, this device, well, this device in the Avivetch management is waiting for its uh, twin in a physical device or a virtual machine remotely. Because right now all this configuration was done over an instance that lives in the Avivetch management cloud only. You can see the device is unpaired. We, we have a license there configured, but we don't have uh, the device online. So what I will do is I will pair the device and to do that, I will use a virtual machine that I have here configured or already created. You can see the virtual machine has nothing installed yet. And what I will do is I will go to summary and scroll down to get the pairing key. I copy this pairing key. The only thing that I need to do is go to my virtual machine, which you're running Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE, open the PowerShell as administrator, and paste the uh, pairing key. After executing that command, uh, the, the virtual machine in this case automatically will download everything required to make uh, Aviva Edge work, including the Aviva Edge installation files, including the project that we configured, we up, uh, uploaded into the Aviva Edge management portal, the Aviva Edge license for the period of time that you selected. In this case, we selected one month. It will use that. It will configure the web server so you can use the mobile access client, the web thing client. Uh, so all that will be done automatically. And as you can see, it finished with the process. And well, after that, we just need to close this. You can see we didn't install anything here, no software installed. But in some minutes, after having this being configured uh, in the background, you will have the Avivetch runtime running on this computer. So to check what's happening in the background, we can go to the Aviva Edge management portal. We close this. You can see that the device says connected now. And it's deploying. It's in deploying status. That means that the configuration that we did here on the Aviva Edge management portal is being transferred to the Aviva Edge device and the device is connected. So we click here, we will see more uh, details. I can disable this checkbox so I can see the CPU, use of memory, use of the storage information. Uh, after having this information populated, we can say that the configuration probably finished it. So you can see that we have some CPU usage, memory usage, storage, Use the storage, and this is uh, in my virtual machine. All this is happening in my virtual machine, and this is reported by my virtual machine to the Aviva Edge Management Cloud. You can check the log, and you will see what is doing in the background. So, for instance, here it's telling me that the runtime is currently running. So it did a lot of things, but at the end, it started the runtime. With the runtime running, what I can do is check my virtual machine IP address. So this is my IP address. And from a different computer or this computer, I can start, let's say, the web thing client or the mobile access client. 
So if I reload this, you will have two options, web interface, which is the web thing client. It doesn't load because this is Microsoft Edge. For Microsoft Edge, you need to run the web thing client in Internet Explorer mode. So yeah, it's working. And you can also for sure start the web, the mobile access client. You can type here, name of the screen.sg, because with that screen group, we in as a guest, you will see that we have the mobile access client also working here. And again, if you check the virtual machine, or it might be your device, your physical device, we don't have any software installed here. And this is because all the installation, all the Aviva Edge, the license, the project is running inside something called a container. This Docker D that the XE is the container running the Aviva Edge product and the runtime, the Aviva Edge runtime. So it's isolated here. That's why you don't have anything installed. Again, you can go to Aviva Edge management. You can check the CPU usage, the details here. You can, maybe you want or you need it, you can, uh, upload a new version of your zip file with some modifications for your project. The project will be updated automatically in the field device in the in the Aviva Edge station after clicking here on update. Some minutes later, the project will be deployed into your station and the changes will be available. You can also change your licensing method. You can increase the number of months that you want to have the license because again, this is a subscription model. So you need to renew uh, the license monthly. Uh, well, you can add one year, five years, 10 years, but you, you have the flexibility of, of uh, controlling this by month. Um, and basically that's it. If you are finished, if you finish with your, with your development, maybe you don't need the device anymore. You can even delete the device. And that will send a command to my, uh, to your uh, Aviva Edge station and your license will be deactivated, your project will be deleted, deleted. And well, basically you won't uh, have the project running anymore. So after this having synchronized with the cloud, you can see that it is stopped. And it's because, yeah, we delete the device in edge management. And this is no longer working. So you can, as you can see, you can control uh, everything about the Viva Edge here from the device creation to the project deployment, uh, including the the installation, uh, installation removing, uh, removal from from the Aviva Edge management portal. You can you can evaluate this uh, option. It's very interesting uh, compared with uh, what we do class in the classical way with the Viva Edge. Uh, this is an option that is closed cloud based, and maybe it will be useful for your new projects. Okay, I think that's it for this video. If you have any question or comment, leave that in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.